Welcome to Oxbridge Montessori's digital learning platform. This video is for grade 4 students. Book title is Science Factor. Book 4. Unit 3. Hello! I am Super Scientist. I'm happy to meet you. Just as in the book, I'm going to help you learn about science. To have fun with science, click on one of the topics. To a plant, four main processes are very important in order to live, grow and reproduce. Can you name the first one? That's right! It's photosynthesis. The other three are transpiration, transportation and reproduction. The process by which plants produce food is called photosynthesis. As you'll remember from last year. Here's a recap. Click on the image to proceed. Photosynthesis takes place in the leaves of a plant. Leaves contain a green substance called chlorophyll. Photosynthesis takes place in the presence of sunlight, water, chlorophyll and carbon dioxide. Click on the word photosynthesis to know how the process works. Chlorophyll in the leaves converts light from the sun into energy. The plant receives water and minerals from the soil. The plant receives carbon dioxide from the air. When the energy received from the sun is combined with carbon dioxide, water, chlorophyll and minerals, food is produced in the leaves in the form of a sugar called glucose. Food produced in the leaves helps the plant to grow and produce flowers and seeds, which in turn give birth to new plants. During the process of photosynthesis, plants release oxygen into the air. Oxygen is a gas which humans and animals breathe. Now, let's move on to transpiration. Transpiration is the process by which Water evaporates through leaves. The underside of leaves have tiny holes called stomata. These stomata open up during the process of photosynthesis and water evaporates through them. Transpiration helps to keep plants cool. Click Next. Without water, plants become limp and eventually die. For this reason, the water that plants lose through transpiration needs to be replaced. This is where transportation comes in. There is a whole system in plants by which water is transported to different parts. In fact, it isn't only water transported, but glucose and minerals as well dissolved in the water. Transportation in plants takes place through two types of tubes. Xylem and phloem. Xylem is a thick and strong tube which carries water and minerals from the roots to the leaves. Phloem transports glucose from the leaves to other parts of the plant. Remember, glucose is made in leaves through photosynthesis. Phloems are thinner than xylem. Let's do a quiz and an activity. Click the right answer with the help of the hint. That's correct. Well done. That's correct. Well done. That's correct. Well done. That's correct. Well done. 
That's correct. Well done. That's correct. Well done. That's correct. Well done. That's correct. Well done. That's correct. Well done. That's correct. Well done. That's correct. Well done. Wow! That was excellent. Drag the correct icon to the correct spots around the plant. Hurry! You have got only 30 seconds. Your time starts now. That's correct! Well done! That's correct! Well done! That's correct. Well done. That's correct. Well done. That's correct. Well done. That's correct. Well done. You are a brilliant student!